Alright guys, Ivan here and in this video we're gonna talk a little bit more about Sean Roden and his recent appearance at Pittsburgh Pro when he showed up out of shape, is putting it mildly, so I'll just say fat. <laughs> fat and under-muscled. The main argument that everybody who was on Sean's side and Sean himself had was that he always is fat at his guest posing and in his off-season and that he will be able to lose all that fat regain all the muscle that he lost and come in best shape of his life 2019 Mr. Olympia. Is this going to happen? Who the hell knows? I don't know, for sure, but I doubt. I doubt that. He is the Mr. Olympia. He won it last year. He has all the motivation that he needs. And now he decided to take a long break from everything, lose a lot of muscle and gain a lot of fat. What a strategy. What a strategy. Just nonsense. And in my opinion, he never, ever looked this fat and this under-muscled. Whenever he guest posed, sure, he was pretty fat, but never this small. So let's take a look at this guest that I found from 2017, I believe. And as you can see, much leaner, much bigger. Both. So when you see a bodybuilder like this, you can say, wow, this is looking great. If this guy is Mr. Olympia, this is wow, he's looking awesome. But when you saw him, the way he looked a few days ago, you would say, this is our Mr. Olympia? Really? You would be really disappointed, right? Especially if you came to Pittsburgh Pro and you had no idea who the Mr. Olympia is. You watched all the other competitors who were in great shape and then you saw Sean looking like that. But if you saw him looking like this, you wouldn't mind. This is okay. This is great. This is a lot of muscle. But then again, he did not win the Mr. Olympia 2017, so it's not a great year to use for comparison. So let's compare him to 2018 edition from Pittsburgh Pro as well, guest posing. What do you see here? Is he looking the same as he is looking now? Hell no, he was much leaner, much bigger, four and a half months out of Mr. Olympia that he actually won. Will he be able to pull it off with that kind of shape that he has right now to lose all the fat? and to gain all the muscle back and win the Mr. Olympia again? No, I don't think that he will be able to win 2019 Mr. Olympia. There you go, I said it. At first, I wasn't quite sure, I thought maybe he will pull it off, but now when I compare these two versions, 2018 Pittsburgh Pro guest posing and 2019, the difference is huge. The difference is big. He lost a lot of muscle. So he will need some time to regain the muscle back, but he also needs to diet a little bit longer in order to lose all that fat. Can he just diet and gain the muscle in the process? Can he grow into the show? Maybe. Will he be able to do it? Probably. But will he be better than all the other guys who are also super hungry, who saw the blood? They, they saw, Phil Heath is not there. Sean won because he was lucky, basically. All the other guys were out of shape, Phil had huge stomach problem, and Sean won. Will he be able to bring the, sh the same shape again? Not very likely, but even if he does do it, it's gonna be tough, for sure. Because he already lost to these other guys, the, the, the top five, basically, Rolly, Rami, Bonac, they all beat him before. Will he be able to repeat the shape in 2018? Maybe. Not very likely, in my opinion, maybe. And still, even if he does that, I'm not sure that he can win it. Because these other guys are gonna be probably at their best, and in order for him to actually make sure that he's gonna win it, he needs to make improvements. The time for making improvements is over, guys. He did not make any improvements. He got much worse. Will he be able to pull it off? I have no idea, but I don't think so. And that's my take on it. That's my take, and whatever you think, tell me in the comment section below. Don't forget to like the video and to subscribe to my channel. All the best, guys. Bye-bye.